Welcome to a quick discussion about SEO in reference to content ideas for your next blog. Um, we've come up with a blog, you know, use my dentist watch and say, we the customer has created a blog. Um, and the first thing you'd know is, is my dentist right for me? Um, that's talking to the end customer. And that's really important with anything you do in terms of content on your website. Don't try and game the system too much. Start with good content that people will like to read that speaks to your target market. But you might find a look, am I really going to get dentist in Melbourne or dentist in Melton or dentist near B from having a nice little article? Probably the answer is not. You might want a longer article, but there's some tricks to this, like this image is called dentist Melbourne behind the scenes that might help dental care near me. So, you know, we start coming up with some, a few little one percenters in terms of just some descriptions, some extra headings, you know, maybe add a few keywords in amongst the natural sounding text. Don't game the system too much. But um, it can be very difficult. If I look at the SEO tab on this website, there's all sorts of tabs and pages and things you can do. Metadata, meta descriptions, social metas, uh, theme colors and short links and schema and breadcrumbs. And, you know, there's a lot to robot your robot.txt file and snippets and stuff. So there's a there's a fair bit to SEO. Trying to get too worried about the technical side of things, by all means learn about it. Um, but let's start with some basics. What are some key searches that people are doing? Um, a couple of tools you can use. Um, plenty out there. there Google Analytics, of course, is one, and Google, Google uh, AdWords can give you some keywords. But let's have a look at uh, a tool I've got called Keywords Everywhere. I've done a search for Dentist Melton. Melton's a suburb in Melbourne where this, this website happens to be. We've got some Google Maps listings coming up. That's an important part of SEO. You've got to fight to get that running and look, 132 reviews. Lots of reviews is a good basic thing to do with SEO, regardless of your website. There's a couple of websites that are ranking quite nicely. And this keyword tool, and there's plenty out there, as I say, tells me SEO difficulty, that's quite high, 39 on page typically 71 uh, off page 21 so it's easy to get some links but very hard to win on page um, uh, win the content war basically um, but some of the key words are things like bulk billing dentist melton cheap dentist melton you might want to target that best dentist in melton at dentist high street melton and um, dentist matt bacchus march so there's a couple of different keyword searches that people are typing in that gives you a bit of an idea of content if I then have a look at a tool called Uber Suggest, again, there's plenty out there. I've just sort of picked one particular keyword, Dentist Melbourne. I might have picked some of those others that I saw. Gives me an idea, again, of SEO difficulty and pay difficulty. It's nine bucks a click. So SEO doesn't cost you per click. So in the long run, it's great if you can, if you can um, win the SEO war. Uh, it doesn't give me old history, but it gives me an idea. There's over 3,000 searches for that word per month. Um, let's have a look. Melbourne dentist, dentist to bulk bill, dentist in Melbourne, do, dental emergency. So maybe emergency is a nice keyword to throw. Dental emergency Melton, for example, might uh, might work. The reason I've used a big city like Melbourne rather than a particular suburb is it gives me a better overview of some of the keywords. Um, certainly you can drill down by location as well. So it takes a number of searches to find the right kind of keywords. And then you get uh, pages or sometimes blog posts that rank for those keywords. So you can then go to these to see, well, how are they winning? Let's have a look at their content. So that's just a bit of an idea, a thought starter to try and find content and keywords that might be relevant, not to dominate your, your content, but to give you some ideas and maybe throwing in a few of those phrases naturally into the text, not too many, but a few in each blog can help you over time to uh, build your SEO score. Uh, good luck. It's a bottomless pit. There's uh, there's always more to learn with SEO, but uh, that should give you a little bit of a starter to maybe at least find some content ideas.